What's up guys, it's Sammy Cheese here, back with another video, and now in today's video, I was showing you guys how to make a skydiving game in Scratch 3.0. So this is part 2 of a 2 part series, so check the top right corner of your screen if you missed part 1, and part 1 will be right there. Anyway, let's get started. First thing that you want to do is make a new sprite, and what this will be is the rocks or debris that is flying up that you have to avoid and keep on skydiving down to the ground. So for example, here's my debris, and now let's make a warning symbol that flashes before the rock flies up. So for example, here's my warning symbol, and once you're done, just go to code. Then go to events. When this backdrop switches to, change this to game. Looks, clear graphic effects. Looks, hide. Control, forever loop, put this right here. Then grab a if then loop, put this inside here. Go to operators, grab an equals block, and put on the right side, lose. And for the left side, go to looks, grab a backdrop, change this to name, and put this inside here. Then go to control, change it to stop this script and put this inside here. Now for below the if then loop, grab a wait one seconds block, go to operators, grab a pick random two and change this to 0.5 to 1.5 seconds. Drag this under the if then loop, just like that. Then go to motion, grab a go to x, y block, go to operators, grab another pick random block and change pick random one to negative 240, 10 to 240 just like that. Now drag this into the X portion, and for the Y portion, just write 100. Then drag this under the wait 0.5 to 1.5 seconds block. Then go to control, create clone of myself, and put this under the go to X block. And that's the first script done. Now let's go to the next script. Grab a when I start as a clone block, go to looks, clear graphic effects, go into motion, grab a set Y2, changes to negative 155, and drag this right here. And then go into looks and grab a switch Gaussian 2 and make it your warning symbol. So just like that and put that right there. Then grab a show block, go into control, grab a wait 3 seconds block, put this right here. Then go back into looks and grab a hide block and put this right here. After that, go into control and grab a wait changes to 0.3 seconds and duplicate this twice. After that, just put a wait 0.3 seconds right there, go to looks, grab a hide block, put this under the 0.3 seconds, then grab another wait 0.3 seconds and put a show block under this one, then grab another wait 0.3 seconds and put this here, and put another hide block under it, just like that. And then go to switch costume 2 and make sure it's set as your rock or whatever, then put this here, then grab another show block and put this here, then go to control, repeat until, put this under the show block, just like that. And then go into operators and grab two or blocks and put one inside the other or block, just like that. Then grab an equals block and grab one of these blocks. And in your equals block, change the 50 value to 160. And then go into motion and grab a Y position block and put this on the left side, just like that. And drag this into the right side of all the or blocks, just like that. Then go to sensing and grab a touching changes to your player. So for example, my player's right one and put this in the other or section. And then for this block, change the left side with nothing in it to 160. And then for the side with 50 in it, go to motion and grab a Y position block and put this Y position block in the 50, just like that. And then drag this in the last or section. And now your block should be looking like this. Finally, drag this into the repeat until block, just like that. And inside the repeat until block, grab a change Y by 10 block and put it inside there, just like that. And now go into control, grab a forever loop, and then grab an if then else loop, this one right here. Go to sensing, grab a if touching your player, aka mine sprite one, put this inside this if then loop, go into variables and change the change, change this to lives by negative one, and put this inside the if portion, just like that. And then go into control, grab a repeat, change this to two, go to looks, change, change this to ghost effect by 50. Just like that and then drag it inside the repeat into a block just like this put this under the change lives by negative one and finally go into control and grab a delete this clone block and put this at the bottom of the repeat two just like that and then for the else portion all you have to do is duplicate this repeat two block just like that and drag it into the else portion just like that finally go to events one green flag clicked looks hide then go to events when i receive changes to death looks hide go to control delete this clone just like that and now let's code the coin sprite and then all you have to do is make a copy of your rock sprite just like that and just go into costumes and make a coin just like that 
and for your warning symbol, it can also just be the coin. Then go to code and change this wait 0.5 seconds to one second, and then change the wait 0.5 seconds to 1.5 seconds, and change the other 1.5 seconds to three seconds, just like that. Now scroll down until you see if touching player, aka that's sprite one for me, change, change this to coins, buy, change this one value to positive one. And then for your one fly click block, all you have to do is go to variables, grab a set, change this to coins to zero block, just like that, and put this right above the hide block, just like that. And now uncheck the X and variables, just like that. So now let's test our game. So if I hit play, as you can see, our rocks will start coming up just like that. And if one rock hits me, I lose a life. And if I get a coin, my coins increase by one. And if I lose, I actually lose and the game stops. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.